We're up to the big 76 today here on another Taste Along with Adam the Wine Guy. I want to thank you all for tuning in, and if you've liked what you've seen so far, you know, forward this along to a bunch of friends, maybe 10 of them. Let them see. Let them get turned on to the wine in the way that uh, you have. Um, check out today's Taste Along, M. Cosentino. They're calling it the Zin. It's the 2005 vintage Zinfandel, 100% Zinfandel, and this one out of Lodi, California. Lodi up north. Not too far from Napa, if you just had to get a uh, generality in the, uh, in the uh, realm of where the appellation of Lodi tends to be. This, the 2005 Zinfandel, check out the label. Fun, straightforward, and to the point. Uh, Cosentino, though, also up in Napa Valley, and they're always open uh, to visitors. Stop in, they're uh, right off of the trail there, um, and, and they're open to visitors most days of the week, i got to believe. And their wine's always consistent, year to year, vintage to vintage, and as everybody knows, Zinfandel, a grape, um, and really, the United States is the place that, uh, that they do it the best, I think. Uh, great with barbecue, one of the best barbecue pairings there is. Also, I find that Zinfandel is, is really nice with a red sauce, uh, a, a nice Italian red sauce. It's something good that it matches up with as well. And right off the bat, we're looking at some nice rich color. This one's got just a couple years on it, but it's still hanging on to that. It's, it's teetering between that garnet and that ruby. It's got that, those purple tones, but as you look, it's starting to just, uh, get just a touch of rust right around the edge there, which I, I think is nice to see. This wine should be coming together on the nose. I get that nice jam that you want to expect out of a Northern California Zinfandel. That just uh, that rich that rich uh, berry jam is really what I'm getting in this one, and just tons gobs and gobs of black pepper. So if you like a spicy wine, this one I think is is going to be up your alley. Let's rock this around. Let's get down to monkey time. It's tradition here. Up to episode number 66, I think we can call monkey time a tradition now at this point. And let's do it. Let's get this wine in our mouths and rock it. Let's roll it. Let's make it happen. And what I'm doing there is really aerating that wine, moving it all around my palate so it really just gets a chance to spread itself all around. And boy, oh boy, does it explode that way. This one, those rich jammy fruits coming back through, which I, which I, I really love in, in, these, in these zins. And along with, like I said, that barbecue, it really, really holds up great to, to those big, smoky depths of flavors that go on with that stuff. And sort of those sweet qualities, it cuts through a little bit. This one has that nice acidity, and again, tons and tons of black pepper. So if you like black pepper, uh, you like that nice spicy quality in a wine. And this one actually finishes off. I'm getting that, that smokiness now, uh, even on the finish, that just keeps going and going. Um, check out the Zin by M. Cosentino. And thanks for checking out another Taste Along here. This one, number 76. And as always, every single day, there's a new Taste Along with Adam the Wine Guy on adamthewineguy.com.